Hi guys, it's Jen here and welcome to Jen's Wild About Art. So today I'm doing a picture of two little mice sitting on a stick for you. Uh, mice are my, one of my favourite subjects. I just absolutely adore them. Um, when I was young I used to have a few pet mice and my two favourites were Bubble and Squeak. <laughs> they were a little black and white mouse and a little grey mouse. And they were pretty well trained actually. They were awesome little guys. Anyway, so I'm doing these pictures today with charcoal pencil. I'm loving practicing a monotone work and just working on tonal values and trying to achieve depth with just one colour. Um, and I used charcoal yesterday and I thought I had so much fun. I thought, oh, I'll have another go today and just do another, another kind of animal. So I'm doing mice and as you can see, I'm using a little, like a little makeup y sponge. You can get them from any art shop or you can get them actually pretty much anywhere at all. Um, you can use Q tips, um, you can get them from the chemist or supermarkets, places like that. They'll work equally as well. Um, I also have a kneaded eraser handy because I do tend to smudge charcoal quite a lot, but kneaded eraser picks it up off the paper beautifully. And as you can see, I've got a bit of a clear plastic underneath my hand also to stop any smudging from my wrist because I do rest my hand on the paper as it is I ended up covered in charcoal I had it all up my arms all on my face everywhere because I touched my face after I'd been using the pencil so there you go anyway so the pencils I'm using the charcoal pencils I'm using today are um, woodless charcoal pencils so they've got like a they're not like your, your willow sticks they've got a coating on the outside so they're less messy to hold they've got like a pencil coating around them just a hard lacquery coating around them so you just sharpen them like a pencil and away you go so yeah I managed to make all the mess with the with the sponge <laughs> but um, yeah as you can see I've done the first mouse and I've just filled him in and these the, what I'm holding now is a big eraser so you can get a couple of different thicknesses of eraser so what you do is you put your charcoal down and then you can lift it off so just rub it out basically and it's got a very fine nib on it and I've also got a thicker one and so I can rub out um, the highlights from the charcoal. So now I'm working on the second little mouse and I'm popping his fur texture in and because of these charcoal pencils they do leave a line on the paper so when you smudge it around it does still leave a little bit of texture where you've left your mark where the vine charcoal tends to just smudge out smooth so yeah you lose the, the line marks. Um, and because these are sharpened, I suppose it does leave a, leave a bit of an indent. So as you can see, I'm doing the fur texture in the direction the fur goes. And I'll run that right around. Take it around his back leg. And down onto his tail. They've got little little stripy tails. Well, it's a texture of them, stripy. So I've just drawn, drawn those in and then I smudge that down. And they've got lighter underbellies, but I've just used... The, the charcoal that was on the sponge to put that in as a grey. Now I've coloured the stick in. I've finished colouring the tail. And I'll add a few more dark areas on this first mouse. And then I go back into the sec uh, second mouse, yep. Pop a few whiskers on. And now I've got a white charcoal pencil. So you can buy these pretty much any art supply store or online. Um, it's a Derwent white charcoal. So I just do use that to help me with white highlights. And then I get my kneaded eraser and tidy up around both mice where I've smudged. Okay, so I pop a bit more white on. And then I go back in with my little eraser. And now I've used my eraser and just tidied up around both mice. And now I'm going in with a Prismacolor pencil just to highlight a few areas, except the Prismacolor pencil doesn't work over charcoal. So there you go, lesson learned, <laughs> but not to worry. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I had a ball. I'd love to see you for my next video. Have an awesome day and I'll catch you then. Okie doke. Bye.